Uh, I know that car. I don't like the handling of it in 6, but that's more the reason to try it in 7. And it's a rain race, it said. I believe. It's a race that takes place in the rain. Hmm. Astronaut? <laughs> oh, I like that. I just like the look of that one. That one's pretty cool looking. Oh, uh, let's go with Astronaut. Let's for shits and giggles. Oh, shit. It's the Nurburgring. Alright. So it still has all of my stuff. I guess, if that's the case. I'm not gonna half-ass this one, because I actually want to see how well the car can handle under my normal playing style. Because I know in 6 it was a little lackluster, and it got me fucked over a few times. But, uh, like I said, the handling's really gotten shaken up since, and the handling feels a lot more snappy and a lot more responsive. And if that translates to this car, which, since I know how this car handles in 6, is a better actual way to judge how the handling has changed. If it has changed at all, this car will show it. And if I manage to do well in this car, I'll all be damned. Oh, let's see here. Oh shit, first person. Alright, let's do this. So, since I'm gonna be focusing, I'm probably gonna shut up a lot. Oh, fucking Bima. I can't tell what I'm doing because I'm in first person. Shit. Holy fuck. Okay. Alright, yeah, they definitely changed the handling. This car handles like a dream all of a sudden. Like, this is ridiculous how well this car is handling for me right now. Compared to 6 at least. Dude, in 6, I love the look of this car and I couldn't use it because it just didn't work with me. This car did not like me in six. Jesus. Oh, it's a dynamic weather change. Please stop changing weather because you're making my game crash. Ah! Spinning. Not quite. I lost control of the wheels there for a second and it scared me. Whoa, rain. <laughs> I can't quite gas it when it's raining out. Oh, please, stop the stuttering. I know I only have two gigabytes of video RAM. I know, it's not a good combination. I'm sorry. I tried, okay? I built my own computer. I thought it'd be great. Wasn't as good as I thought it. It wasn't as good as I thought it would be. That's fine. It's because I cheaped out on the graphics card like an idiot. Whoa. What happened to you? Somebody died. I like that caution ahead, uh, heads up though. Ooh, I'm liking this where you can't really see in front of you. Oh, I forgot about this turn. And I just botched the entire race for myself right there, didn't I? Sorry, gotta come in here. Hello, Mr. R8. Whoa, I'm having trouble getting control of the car. There we go. Come on, turn, turn, please turn. Oh no. This car does not like rain. Because it's having a lot of issues now. But damn, that looks awesome. It fucking kicked the graphics into high gear with this one. I remember being pretty upset with 6. I was all excited for the hyper realistic graphics and then it just came out kind of looking boring. But this one, this one's a different story. This one looks fucking great. Probably looks better on Xbox. Also on Xbox One X. That'd make a lot more sense. Fucking puddles. Don't worry, I'm a drifter. I can pull back slides. Also, I'm in 17th. This is not going any form of well for me. I'm gonna be really upset if it's on, like, easy difficulty and I'm just eating shit. Probably is. I'm just not very good at this yet. I also haven't played a motorsport game in a couple of months now because I've been doing so much Rainbow Six Siege and doing the Portal playthrough. I've been so used to uh, first-person shooters. 
Uh, oh, please, no. Right. Next race I do is not going to be in the rain, because this is, uh, giving me a few issues. By a few, I mean many. Excuse me, Beam, I'm just gonna take you up the inside here. Ow, please, 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 Beamer. Ah! <laughs> That's the epitome of, uh, nice guys finish last. I didn't want to cut too hard into the Beamer to make sure I get... Okay, that's a lag spike. I didn't want to cut too hard into the beamer to make sure I didn't spin out on him. But, instead I just got fucked. And um, break here. I'm liking the new dial as well. It's a lot more flashy and eye-catching. W. And I hate this turn with every fiber in my body. Whoa, tires, tires, work with me, please. Oh, it's another two lap. I could have had a much better go of this if it weren't for the fact that I completely botched that corner last lap. It just didn't go well for me. I really haven't been doing well, period. Like, it's not like I came back as many spots as I could have. Like, I went from, what, 17 to 15? That's not much. I feel like that deserves a replay if I can. I should be able to replay it from the main menu, but if there's a replay button right here, that'd be nice. No, there isn't. You're just gonna give me the, uh... Best racing game of 2017, yeah. You hear me clicking? Yeah, that means I don't want to sit through this game. Um, Battle of the Behemoth. Why do I feel like... Alright, let's play this one, but not bullshit it this time. Let's actually try and win now. Now we're gonna try and win this one. Because, uh... I don't like losing. I'm fine with it. I just don't like it. It gets kind of old pretty quick. Let's try and win this time. Ah, Ferrari, why'd you break there? Ferrari, you did not need to break, my dude. All right, guys. All right, guys. All right, guys. You are not. You are not driving well. You're not driving smart. To be fair, neither am I. Kind of winging it. Ah, I almost got murdered by lag. What is this guy ahead of me in? Can't tell. It looks like an Aston Martin, maybe? Or the new Acura NSX? Oh, it's, uh, Acura. It's the NSX. Goodbye, NSX. I think I murdered him. I heard him go boom boom. This game sounds great, looks great. I'm loving this, honestly. Ah! <laughs> My back tires don't love me back. So apparently turning up the aggression on the drive tars makes them worse because I recall having a much bigger issue driving about the same earlier. Or maybe it kicked me off at like hard because it saw that I'm like level 500 or some shit. And then later on it was like, you know what, we're gonna lower it because he's lost two races in a row. Ah, shit on a stick. It's a mixture of lag and... That dude behind me making me anxious. Oh, helicopter, please don't make me lag. I'm gonna need to stop this video after this race, probably. I'll come back and do the race of the behemoth later. All things considered, I'm having very many an issue with lag. I don't know if that's because of the amount of time I'm spending on it, but this much lag wasn't happening when I first started playing, so... I don't know what's happening. That's okay, though. This and, uh, Need for Speed Payback both look like racing games I'm very excited for in the future. It kind of reminds me of, a uh, Horizon 3 Need for Speed last year, I think it was. 
because I got them around the same time. I got Need for Speed about two months after I got Forza Horizon 3. And the both them I very much enjoyed. I know a lot of people didn't enjoy it. Ooh, listen to that. Like I was saying, I know a lot of people didn't enjoy Need for Speed 2015. Personally, I didn't think it was the best because no one's going to be underground or Pro Street, which, that's a controversial statement. Pro Street is probably my favorite Need for Speed game. Couldn't tell you why. There's just something about it that I very much enjoy. The atmosphere is just oof, awesome. But I very much enjoyed 2015. And it wasn't because of the story. The story was ass and it was terribly acted. Ken Block was in there somewhere, and Ken Block is cool, but he's not an actor. I doubt the rest of the actors were actors, truthfully. It, it was, it was, it was tacky. They tried, you know? I'm not gonna talk shit on them, because they put out a fucking great game, yeah? Story, eh. But, like, the rest of the game, the racing, and the events, and the content updates as well, adding Eddie into the game, that was nice, because I, I fucking love his R34 with it every ounce of my heart. That car is so awesome. And that's a very biased statement. It's like the uh, M3. The most wanted M3. I love that car. Because they just sort of have a place in my childhood because I used to play Need for Speed games growing up. So those cars are very, very special to me. I need to focus a little bit. Come see these corners. But I'm really liking the new handling model. Truthfully, it's fucking awesome. Ah! Only thing is that I feel like the brakes are slightly heavier towards the front because every time I hit the brakes, my back end wants to kick out. Of course, it could be the camera doing devil's advocate over here and just sort of tilting up every time I hit the brakes to match the back end of the car. I can see that, but... It just looks like the car is dipping very, very heavily forwards whenever I hit the brakes. And oh, that is a drift. That is not what I wanted, truthfully. But, uh... Yeah, so... This is Motorsport 7, and shit, and shit, and more shit. And a lot, a lot of shit. Oh my god, if I lose this race, I'm gonna be very upset, because I've been doing very well all race. Brakes, brakes, brakes. Oh, I didn't need to hit the brakes that hard. Oh. Issues. But, uh, yeah. That was foot, that was, uh, foot, foot, that was foot, motorsport, and seven. Wait a minute, wait a minute, Wan, Watanabe? Ah, uh, it's not, uh, it's not fucking Ryu from Need for Speed Pro Street. So that's how much I like Pro Street, I'm a nerd. But, uh, Jay Davis, is it Jonathan Davis from, uh, Korn? Who's here, who's here? Is Didcock anywhere here? I miss Didcock. Didcock was a character from the fur, uh, from fucking Horizon 1. Cliff Didcock was his name. Pretty great. And, uh, yeah. That was Forza Motorsport 7. So, I might play more on the channel somewhere off in the future. No time soon, though. But, uh, yeah. And that was also me trying my first solo video, which I'm not sure how well that went. But, uh, yeah. I will see you guys in the next one. Toodaloos. Let them come.